A long time ago, in a faraway town called Nazareth, there lived a girl called Mary. She was beautiful and full of love, and she wanted to love God a lot. One day, while Mary was sewing a dress, an angel appeared to her. It was the angel Gabriel. Hail Mary, full of grace, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was a little frightened when she saw the angel. Seeing this, the angel said, Don't be afraid, Mary. I have great news for you. God has sent me to tell you that you are going to have a child and he will be called Jesus. I'm confused. I'm not married. How can I have a baby? You will be filled with the Holy Spirit and so the child will be holy and be called the Son of God. I am the Lord's servant and I hope everything that you are saying will come true. And the angel left her. A few days later, there was a big commotion in the center of the town. The Roman soldiers, led by a captain, had come to make an important announcement. Attention everyone! The Emperor Caesar Augustus wants to know how many people are living in this land. So everyone is to go to the town where they were born to be counted. Anyone disobeying the Emperor will be punished. Now Joseph was from a town which was miles away from Nazareth. So that meant he and Mary had to set off on a long journey to Bethlehem. It was winter time and it was very cold. Even the little donkey that carried Mary was feeling cold. Oh Mary, I wish we didn't have to go to Bethlehem at this time of the year, especially now when you are expecting a baby. I am so worried about you. I hope you don't catch a cold. Don't worry, Joseph. Wait till you see. Everything will work out fine. God will look after us. But when Mary and Joseph arrived at Bethlehem, things did not look good at all. There were so many other people to be counted that all of the hotels and inns seemed to be filled up. There was no room anywhere. Joseph knocks the door and asks, Do you have any room in the inn? No, I am sorry. We are full. Can you please find a place somewhere else? Joseph leads Mary to the next inn and knocks. Please, do you have any room for us in your inn? Sorry, we have too many guests already. We have no rooms. Joseph knocks the next door and asks, Do you have any room for us in your inn? You are our last hope. Please help us. My wife is going to have a baby very soon. She can't stay out in the cold. All the rooms are full, but I think I can help you. That is table at the back of our house. It's not much, I know, but it will give you some shelter. Oh, thank you. May God reward you for your kindness.
Around Bethlehem, there were lots of little hills where sheep used to graze. The shepherds who looked after them had to sleep out in the open at night, taking turns to stay awake. Doesn't the sky look really lovely tonight? Yes, I've never seen so many stars and they are so bright. I'm glad it's my turn to stay awake. I don't want to miss this for anything. As they are admiring the stars, suddenly an angel appears in the sky. And the whole sky seems to be lit up with the light that comes from her. David and Adam jump up with a fright. This wakes up the other shepherds who look up at the angel with great fear. While shepherds watch their flocks by night, all seated on the ground, the angel of the Lord came down and glory shone around. Don't be afraid. I have great news for you. Today, Jesus has been born. He is the savior of the world. You will find him lying in a manger in a stable in Bethlehem. Just follow the star and it will take you there. And don't worry about your sheep because God will look after them. Come on, let's go quickly to find Jesus.
Meanwhile, some way off, three kings and their servants were making their way through the night. They had been traveling for months, walking or riding their camels thousands of miles. They came from different parts of the world and had met by chance as they traveled along, following a bright star which had appeared in the sky. Because they were wise men, they realized that the star was a sign that the king of the world had been born. I'm so tired. How much longer do we have to travel? Let us not give up hope. It can't be too much further now. I think the star is getting lower in the sky. Maybe we're getting closer. Come on, let's hurry up. Just as the angels had said, Baby Jesus had been born in the stable at Bethlehem. Mary, his mother, wrapped him up in a swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. And then both she and Joseph gazed at him with love. They could hardly believe their eyes. Jesus, the Savior of the world, had been born and he was going to be living with them. Oh, this must be it. Look, there is a baby. Imagine, this is the savior of the world. But how did you know we were here? While we were watching our sheep, the whole sky was lit up with angels and one of them told us you were here. We are happy you are here to share our joy. This is the day that we will always remember. sing and dance and celebrate the newborn king.
found you. Our search was not in vain. Here is my gift for the Savior, the casket of gold. I bring you a gift from my native land, frankincense. I give it to you, Jesus, with all my heart. And here is my gift, myrrh, a precious spice from the Orient. We are so lucky to be here with you, and so we want to give you these gifts on behalf of all the people of the world to say that you are the only king. I am sure that baby Jesus is very happy with all of your gifts, but most of all because you have given him your hearts as well. Christmas fills our hearts with joy as we think of gifts, light and holiday spirit. But remember, Christmas means something more. It's birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Baby Jesus brings the light of love into the world, a love that touches each one of us. So now we light a candle to symbolize the birth of His love within us. We help each other on this journey and so we take the light from one another. Let us bring this light out into the world to each person we meet.
there is a candle in every soul Some brightly burning and some dark and cold And there is a spirit who brings a fire Ignites a candle and makes his own Carry your candle and run to the darkness Seek out the helpless, confused and torn And hold out your candle for all to see it Take your candle and go like your word Take your candle On this day of joy and hope, let's come together and dance. Let's wish everyone happy Christmas.